so before i move to the first demo or the session point i just want to give you an overview of what we'll be talking about so that you know all the different modules which we'll be covering um which will kind of you know give you a perspective about what you'll cover in the next 6 to 8 weeks of the entire sessions um so i i'm i'm sure you might have gone through the target audience like you know you are all interested in cyber security you want to get into the cyber security uh, realm and then you, know, you want to prove yourself you want to get a break into cyber security which is which is really great and that's the reason you are here um uh, or or like you know possibly that you want to make yourself a long term security career like which everybody is looking for um th then you might have a question like you know i know cyber security i have word a word about different synonyms information security cyber security data security uh, malware analysis and all these things so what is this all about is it all the same is it not the same uh, what does it do so in reality cyber security or soc specific what we call in in current terminology is called cyber defense uh, operations or security operation center is actually a subset of information security which is a broader group which has multiple uh, areas of domains in in under it uh, but soc specifically deals with your your you know securing or monitoring of your uh technologies like you know your websites application database and everything else or your desktops and your endpoints whatever that is you call so soc would do monitor all those things so if i have to practically tell you what needs what will what we are doing as per the soc team uh you will look at what is happening on an endpoint which is a laptop or a desktop you look also look at what's happening on a web server you are also looking at what's happening in your ceo's machine you will also look at who's browsing what type of websites you will be also looking at what emails are coming in uh you will be looking at the attacks what uh, by people from other countries or other areas are trying to attack on their web applications and i can go on and on and on about what you all do so there are a number of areas which the security operation centers will be monitoring day in day out 24 by 7 so as a caveat i should let you know earlier in this course when you are choosing security operation center or soc as your area of interest or area of training and you want to get placed into a security operation center team you would be required to work 24 by 7 you cannot deny that because it's like we are the gatekeepers of the company gatekeeper has to be there at, at the entrance the, he needs to know every movement he needs to get alerted for every movement he needs to run around and figure out what's really happening and then escalate it to the upper management as to this is what is happening this is what my hypothesis this is my analysis is and i need you to take xyz controls in place right um so again you know we will handle everything what's happening in the organization anything anything uh, security related uh, computer security related incident will come to us to handle to track and that's where we have something called as incident response process where we will follow through a different steps of all this incident response process track it understand it prioritize it remediate it contain it and then create a use case or create a lessons learned and then let the management know that you know hey you know what we found xyz incident i think this is where we failed this is what the security control we need to uh, put in place and uh, this is how much it will cost me or you know i have a i have a better plan for how to about protect myself right um then the last point which you read here you know we handle a lot of events and incidents so just a plain text like you know okay if you see a cat running around in your house would you call it as will, will you be alarmed and then start calling the police or will you try to handle it yourself what do you call it as will you, will you call it as a burglary or will you be really worried about it like if you're sleeping in the night and the and, and there is a sound what would you do straight away call the police or you will wait and investigate yourself and then confirm what happened there and then call the police anyone no one nobody have seen a cat or some some strange noises in their house in the nights okay let me tell you so if 
again this is me thinking like a sock guy you know me thinking like a investigative guy so i heard a sound i switch on all the lights i'll probably take a broomstick or a stick or or a flashlight or anything which i can protect myself or you know think i can protect myself and then go around the place where the where the sound came from if i see a cat moving around that's an event for me that's not an incident for me right so i found which to be false positive cat was the one who making the sound which is not a real attack or not somebody who a stranger came into the house if you put the other way around you see that your doors are open and some some things are missing from your house that becomes an incident that becomes a attack on your home so there are two things we'll sock on every day every hour we'll have to handle they look at alerts they'll have to make a decision whether it's an alert or, or there is an event or an incident right that investigative methodology or investigative mindset has to be there or or, or is what sock analyst would require and he'll have to uh, you know handle every other incident or alert as an incident until and otherwise proven so all the alerts which we handle which get triggered which we create are all towards identifying a particular activity possibly suspicious activity where we are able to actively find out an invest or intruder in our in our environment or understand okay this is a benign activity from one of my administrators we can ignore it but it it's it sometimes gets overwhelming in terms of how much activity a sock analyst will handle uh, but again you know if if we are all intelligent we understand uh, we have great logical thinking about it and we understand the cyber attacks in detail which we'll try to help out each other here uh, we will be trying to differentiate what is an event what is an incident